Hello friends, welcome to another episode of How to Stay Warm in the Winter as a Raw Vegan. Today we're going to be talking about spices and how spices can help us to stay warm in the winter. So stay tuned. spices have been used for thousands of years. Many people have used them for medical purposes, also to help enhance the taste of food. So this has also been used as a preservative and it's even, it's even been used as a stimulant for our circulation, which in turn helps us to stay warm, makes our body warm. So this is what we want, friends. We want to use these herbs and spices to stimulate our circulation so that in turn it will make our bodies feel warm. So as a raw vegan this is one of the reasons why I like to use herbs and spices because they really do make you feel warm inside. Also um, a lot of them have uh, you know like warming properties. So I'm going to be showing you some herbs and spices that will help to warm up your body in this winter. So stay tuned. So the first one we're going to be talking about is ginger root. Ginger root helps to open up blood vessels and it allows more blood to pass through. Ginger can also be used to better our digestion. Ginger root is also an antiviral and is loaded with anti-inflammatory properties. So you can use ginger root in your teas and this will really help to stimulate your circulation, which in turn will keep you warm. Okay, another one is parsley. And parsley can help open up the blood passage, passageway through the body. Other properties found in parsley are vitamin C, B12, and these are also all, um, these are all help to enhance your circulation, which in turn helps you uh, stay warm. Then there's green tea. As you know, green tea is one of my favorite. I like to have green tea with cinnamon together, and this really is really tasty. If you haven't tried it, try it. So some researchers have shown that drinking green tea once a day can help with circulation and also may reduce the risk of some diseases, including cancer and heart disease. Okay, so the next one that we have is cayenne pepper. And some people say that using a little bit of cayenne pepper like in your sock and then put your sock on, that this helps to warm up your body. And I have personally never tried that, but if you try it, let me know or if you, if you have done this already and it works, put down in the comments, let me know. I'm kind of interested to see if that works. And actually, now that after I finish this video, I think I'm going to try that myself because it's something that I've heard, but I've... Actually, to tell you the truth, I forget to do it, so I don't, I've never done it. But I'm going to try it, so if this works for you or has worked for you, let me know below in the comments. Okay, so cayenne pe pepper is also great for, poor, for people who have poor circulation. This will uh, help with headaches. It also helps with sore throats and any, like if you have toothaches, they say it's also good for toothaches. So give this a try. The next one is called Kinko Biloba. I know that's, that's, that's a mouthful. Anyway, so what this does is it comes from one of the oldest species of trees from the earth. And they say it's very powerful and it has a lot of antioxidants. Antioxidants helps to treat anyone who has like maybe blood disorders, and it can also help to improve memory. Again, this helps to improve blood circulation. And this also helps to make your blood platelets less sticky. It also helps improve blood flow to the brain. And I guess this is why they say that this is probably really good for those who, who uh, like to help prevent Alzheimer's. This is something that they say is really good for this. 
Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this short video on how to stay warm in the winter. A lot of these uh, herbs and spices, what I like to do with them is, I like to put them in my tea, because as I told you, I like to have, like after dinner, after my dinner, maybe like an hour or two, sometimes even three late, hours later, I like to have a warm tea. And this is when I like to put in some of those herbs and spices is in my tea. But again, you can use them like even in your salad or you can uh, even put them in your smoothies. And if I were you, because what I, what I like to do is I like to go, of course, to Google and I like to look for myself and see, okay, well, how or where can I add these spices into my, you know, life so that they can best benefit me. So. That's another thing that I like to do is like sometimes I'm like, okay, well, how else can I use this, you know? And I'll go to Google and I'll just look it up and find different ways on how I can add this to my lifestyle. And I do recommend this for you guys too. And that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Also, uh, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can stay tuned for my next video. And I love you guys. Thank you so much for staying here with me. And I hope you guys enjoy. Have a good one.